incredible vegetables glinge glout clerdus a puked the flutters. <laughs> I love doing kids shows because I'm taller than them and I feel superior. I did talk a lot in Misty Bike Gun. I talked as a child. And all that. And people didn't get it. They think that I didn't talk. And it's an extraordinary thing. <laughs> this character that I had, the I always looked on, on him as a five and a half year old boy. It was completely natural. It wasn't like acting. I wasn't acting. Like if I were to do some sort of role, I'd have to get myself into the part and no, it was, it was a really natural part of myself that I, I did. <laughs> Take me to your leader. Comedians, we are behind a glass looking into society and uh, we observe. But to observe society, you can't be part of it really. So you're outside looking in all the time. And it's only these days, at my advanced age of that I start to realise that there is more to life than just being funny. I'm seeing a psychologist for a long time and I advise everybody to have someone they can talk to. We have so many tricks to cover up the pain of whatever our story is, you know. I mean, everybody's childhood, pretty much, there's been an awful lot of, uh, not catastrophes, but, uh, well, conflicts, let's say. I was sent to a boarding school when I was six. I was bullied. I was, uh, there was a pedophile there who uh, sort of took me into his room and started groping, he didn't do anything. And I was thinking, hello, what's that about? And he said, well, you can go now. These things mark a child and it put me outside society. I thought, fuck this, I don't want to, I don't want to be part of this. And only in like in the past three months did I suddenly make this kind of breakthrough that the ice is starting to melt over, over the feeling. I'm sorry, did you expect this to be very funny? Please, give us a hanky. Uh, he's called Herbert. Hello, how are you? Shut up. Thank you. Well, I love working, and I love creating, and I love being funny. This is a thing I did uh, ages ago. So I'm doing uh, my, my, my carvings. I'm doing the, uh, what I call a flat shoe, which is the statue, the big one at the Bacolet, but it's flat. And um, we've written a play which has 14 characters, and then no producer in his right mind will ever put it on. <laughs> He'll go bankrupt immediately. I made a film in the McCollett with uh, some friends, which the museum decided they loved, and they, they're showing it on the wall 24 hours, well, 12 hours a day, and that's part of the new exhibition. It's called Dachus. I don't have an age. I really don't. Uh, physically, yes, I just, uh, yeah. but uh, no, the brain is, thank God, it's all right, it's working hard. So, I, 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 what are we talking about? Oh, me, yes. 